everybody. Welcome back to the next part of Firewatch. I was going to say the last video, maybe the video before, I remembered and then forgot and remembered again. Um, sorry about the language that's in the game. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. I think I've heard the F word about six times. Um, I wish there was an easy means of being able to go through your video and your editing and all that and pick up on curse words. Uh, throughout your video for you so that you could edit them out. I have a way of editing them out, but it'd be way too tedious to uh, basically have to rewatch every video that I'm making just to cut out curse words that are being said in the game. But if there's an instance, you know, where I say a curse word, then that's easy to go back in and, you know, just edit out. But uh, yeah, game's got language. Not much I can do about it. And uh, we're getting ready to go ahead and load here. Getting ready to get to that spot where I'm going to have to deal with the radio in this game. <laughs> the lid just flapped closed. I saw it real quick. So back to our map. Okay, so... When you save and you reload your save, uh, be it a quick save, I guess, or a hard save, where you have walked is uh, erased. The red lines is just what we filled out with the map we found in the box. But the trail we leave from the way we walked uh, disappears per the load, so that's interesting. All right, we're gonna go west and kind of go up above this cache area because there's actually a few connecting paths that all converge into one. So west here. Just to make sure we don't miss uh, any notes or any cool stuff. They give you three different ways you can reach the same place. Yeah, here's how they're telling you to to run. This is like the tutorial where you learn uh, how the game operates. Yeah, we're getting close. Close enough I can target them. Yeah, so we're gonna take this little high high direction. You don't fizzle now. This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. And there's a canyon and then the rest of, well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Cool. This would be a good place to uh, take a picture, but I don't have a camera yet. I guess when you get the camera, though, you can come back here, if you remember. Okay, now we're wrapping around down to this other little trail that merges onto this big, huge lake. Yeah, you would think you'd run into a, a bear just chilling out here. What that is. Top of that tree, I guess. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. See? We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Okay. We are 
facing east. West. Yeah, behind us. So we came from there. I was just wondering, like, what's going on here? There's a few other paths. Maybe it's because we just didn't come this way yet. Yeah, not a great place to be uh, doing fireworks. This shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. It should be called Cripple Gulch, just east of gonna pee in a bag forever flats. Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Henry's gonna help us. So we got a map update. Cripple Gulch. Okay, he labeled it. button <laughs> and then you just push an arrow key down or whichever you're using on the controller. Nope. got me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. Think you'll have to pee in a bag for the rest of your life? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Alright, well, guess we ain't going back that way. Yeah, definitely if the game will let me, uh, once I beat it, if I missed anything that I didn't pick up in this playthrough, like a note or something, uh, I'll go back to it and uh, I'll make a video of all the little places I missed, I guess, and uh, show you where everything's located. A couple of paths here, maybe. There's another... Tie-off. Oh, climbing gear. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Okay. So, must be this cache. It's 
south. Yeah. So this leads to that 309 cache, Five Mile Creek area. And I'm not sure, without looking at the guide, what that little up arrow looking place is in the middle of that circle. Maybe it's a TP. I don't know. But they don't want us going that way yet. So we basically need another rope since ours broke. there may be to see, if anything. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Okay, so dead end. fireworks anymore. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold musqua light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. So this is what I used for my uh, little ongoing gag in the community tab. Um, series speculation. Every time I end my last game, the last video of the last thing I ran, I uh, post a screenshot of the next game I'm going to do just to give you guys something to try to get a little guessing game of what I'm going to play next. And I used this as uh, the picture for that clean up so we can take these. I guess he's just putting them in his bag. staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Here. <laughs> Haven't been over this spot. Gonna immediately hop down. As the game opens up more, uh, those will be the kind of locations where you'll find extra things like notes that you can read. So, north. I'm going to see what's all the way up at the top there. Oh. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I'm 
whispering. Because you're whispering. Pears, pears, pears! Yes! Are you okay? You didn't just have a stroke, did you? No! Do you smell burnt toast? <laughs> no. Then what then? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. <laughs> I think that's a screen picture spot. Uh, since we've already interacted with him, though, I don't know if we come back here or if he'll be there again for you to take the picture. But so that's right there. That spot's accessible. So, yeah. I don't know. If he'll be there later or not. North. Okay. That was a little janky. He didn't even fully jump down. It was at a weird angle, I guess. Okay. More beer can clean up. How many of these are out here? That we gotta pick up. Just see here. Something over there. Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Two of them. I think that's F word number two just in this video. <laughs> Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Ugh, more beer cans. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I would have named that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. F four three. Oh shit. Ferret or Irish. Single malt whiskey. Product of Ireland. Huh. I'm assuming it's a real kind. Safe for later, yeah. Take that. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Magic missile, screaming life. <laughs> I don't know what that other one says. Something R E. Not sure. Okay, taking them. He didn't want to go through those bags over there, so. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? 
won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Nice. He's gonna keep that? Oh, he's gonna throw it on the ground, huh? Okay. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Okay. We're getting close to that radio. So if you hear dead silence, uh, you'll know what I'm doing. <laughs> Cutting out the song. people. Fireworks or those uh, sprinklers. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. They are drunk. <laughs> Quit the fireworks. Please kill it with the fireworks. I know you're lighting fireworks. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea? What? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? You are naked. Oh, okay. So, yeah, interestingly, I think the radio is right here. Supposed to be. Maybe they've edit, uh, edited that out. Maybe they went back in and and then they patched the game. Hmm, I am pretty sure that's where it was sitting. I just like go over there. <laughs> no. Invisible wall. Can't go any further. So yeah, maybe we're not going to see the radio. I'll still put the song uh, that was playing on it. I'll give you a link in this video to it. So you can hear it. Here's a good song. I'm actually glad if they took it out, because that means they're thinking about people that stream this game. Hey, he's going to mess with our stuff. Don't go back there, you dick. I don't like this. Can we go? Shit. <sighs> Let's go to the other side of the lake. Later, Skeezer! We're gonna tell everyone there's a perb out here! Go on. Find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. <laughs> Where'd they go? They're just hiding behind the rock. Hey, that go okay? I hope they drown. It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now, though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. <laughs> but as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Uh, 
any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption? Yes, or... probably. Consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I did read online when I was looking up about the radio and everything, seeing if there was a mod to mute it. Um, somebody did mention something about sometimes it doesn't despawn, but that could be true. Or maybe the de developers just took it out completely. Hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Okay. So, north. We are looking what way? Pretty much north. Now we are. So there's a cache up there. We may be allowed to get now. Not sure. Sure, those girls are. So we're getting there. Where does that go? Looks like you can go that way. Supposed to be going back to the tower. There's this cache. One, two, three. Looks like it covered in some of that, which we are not ready to go there yet, I don't think. Let's the note. Note from Dave, 8-29-86. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have gotten hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionals is Italian. So this Wapita. Uh, keep it. I guess I should have reported on it. I could have. I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Oh, nice. The fourth estate. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd suck up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a ti with tiny umbrellas. I think it's a horror book. I don't know if it's a real book, but crap. <clears throat> Nothing else in here to get? Just the note. So this is 305. Okay. Well, we'll stop it here. Uh, 
I did want to look here. They mentioned in that note, Watapia Meadow, and there's Watapia, or Wapita, Wapita, Wapiti, Wapiti. So I don't know if we can go there yet, but uh, we'll try to peek over there in the next video before we uh, head back to the watchtower and uh, see if it'll let us go there or not. So thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying this game. It's a, a good one. I like the story. What's going on with it? It's pretty good. See you in the next one. Bye.